There are more buildings in the world than any person can count. You die of old age and probably go crazy in the process. Most of these buildings are designed by architects. Architects who dreamed of creating structures since they were just kids building tree houses. Somewhere in their career, after designing dozens of boring buildings, something happens to these architects. They snap and design something absolutely insane. That's why today we're bringing you 10 absolutely insane buildings that must have been created by madmen. You'll see a research facility that looks like it belongs on Mars, a house straight out of Alice in Wonderland, and even buildings with their own ecosystem. Let's start off the list with Kingdom Tower. Saudi Arabia has built a reputation over the years, a reputation they're eager to change. Rather than being just another Middle Eastern country, they want to show off their top spot as the country with the largest economy in the area. That's why the commercial capital of Jeddah is rapidly expanding itself with some luxurious new buildings and a ritzy new district. The most notable project is the Kingdom Tower, also known as the Jeddah Tower, the enormous undertaking that will be the world's tallest building. Standing at 1 kilometer, over 3,200 feet tall, the tower will be an aerodynamic three-sided shard with over 250 floors and more than 30,000 glass panels. The tower will act as a centerpiece to a new district on the north outskirts of the city with plans to draw in tourists and world-class businesses who want to impress their clients. The exterior design is so insane and revolutionary that rent is higher in the surrounding buildings than it is in the tower itself. They are actually charging more money for the privilege of being able to look at Jeddah Tower than they do to live within it. The Dubai Pearl The Dubai Pearl is big, really big. 22 million square feet big. That's 10,000 times bigger than an average single-family home. The owners had designed the Pearl to hold 9,000 residents and employ 12,000 people. It would basically be its own city. It's also a fantastic location, overlooking a famous architectural marvel. The Palm Jumeirah, businesses, homes, and storefronts all fight for a spot in the architectural behemoth that is the Dubai Pearl. Or they would, if it was ever built. Despite billions of dollars in funding, the Dubai Pearl stands only a few stories tall, even 17 years later. What happened to the Pearl? Was it too big to build? Was it simply bad luck? Essam Al-Tamimi, a lawyer connected to the project, has other ideas. He calls it haunted. He says it has moved from owner to owner over the past 12 years and every time the project starts to move, some other complication happens. Is the Dubai Pearl truly haunted? Or was it, as the owners claim, just 17 years of bad luck? Dawang Mountain Resort Mining, drilling, fracking, quarries, landfills. They're all environmentalist nightmares. Although they're a key part of history, they also leave unsightly scars on otherwise untouched natural landscapes. Our next building takes one of these old quarry pits in China and integrates it as a key part of its insane design. The quarry pit itself was resurfaced and refilled with water, turning it into a man-made lake. Walkways allow you to access artificial islands with spectacular views. The whole area is meticulously decorated with vegetation. Above the lake sits the actual building which acts as a bridge suspended over two cliff sides. The breathtaking exterior is inspired by waves and the curves of water in motion. This is appropriate considering this building is a sports resort focusing on water and winter activities. It's all part of what they're calling Ice World. Inside the main building, you'll find 1.3 million square feet of outdoor activities, all of which can be done indoors. This includes everything from water slides and pools to hanging gardens, shopping centers, and restaurants. The resort even features a full-fledged ski slope. Eden Project in Cornwall, England, you'll find another unattractive mining site transformed into an absolute paradise. The Eden Project was originally a giant clay pit, which has since been turned into a paradise garden. The transformation was one of the largest construction projects England has ever seen. The project set multiple world records for the amount of scaffolding used to complete the building. 
It all makes sense because the structure is essentially a series of difficult to construct bubbles along the landscape. What's most amazing about the Eden Project is the inside. These plants aren't simply for decoration, it's an entire rainforest. In fact, the Eden Project houses the largest rainforest in captivity. The biodome serves as an educational facility meant to awe and inspire. If you're ever in Cornwall, you can take a tour, attend a class, and marvel at this city's very own indoor utopia. Capsark If you're a fan of science fiction, you're going to love this Saudi Arabian research center. It looks like a mix between a Lost in Space spin-off and a bungee game. But it's here and it's real. Since 2012, researchers have been working out a different type of building. The hard, straight, modern edges are all set against stark white walls that wouldn't be out of place in an Apple commercial. The geometric hexagonal lines make the design one part gemstone, one part beehive, one part spaceship, and three parts absolutely insane. This is the King Abdullah Petroleum Studies and Research Center, or CAPSARC for short, and it's unlike anything you've seen before. Inside the unconventional building, a team of multinational scientists research environmental sciences. Everything from oil supply and demand to environmental impact, global warming, machine efficiency, to world economic trends. The design stretches across five buildings and covers over 750,000 square feet. Inside, you'll find a 300-seat auditorium, workspaces, high-tech equipment, and even a place for midday prayer. Cube Houses, Rotterdam, Netherlands If you're looking for something to do in the Netherlands, take a little trip to Rotterdam to find a neighborhood like no other. It's an interesting collection of 32 houses that will give you a different perspective. The houses are unconventional, to say the least. They're warped and slanted. Each one is actually meant to resemble a single tree. The base of each house acts like a trunk. The body is supposed to be the leaves. The houses are angled so each has a cornered tip at the top, just like the local vegetation. Together, the houses come together to make a surreal forest. The buildings aren't just for show. People actually live in these houses. They have bathrooms and kitchens and beds and everything that makes a house a house. But the interiors are far from normal. None of the inside walls are straight, giving an Alice in Wonderland feel. Despite being small in size, it's difficult to keep your orientation in these strange houses. Guests report getting completely lost inside, and it's easy to see why. Songjing Hotel In yet another example of a quarry pit turned resort, the Songjing Hotel in China doesn't simply lay across two cliff sides, it fundamentally incorporates the cliff into the core design. The cliffs become a part of the building itself. The original plan was to use the quarry's rock cliff for stability and design inspiration, and we have to say it looks fantastic. 380 rooms are built jetting out from the cliffside. 17 floors sit above the water, with two floors being completely submerged under the lake. Although this engineering masterpiece was built by a team of 5,000 engineers, designers, and workers, the hotel expects to see 100 times as many guests stay every single year. What will these half a million guests do at the Songjiang Hotel each year? Activities including eating seafood in the underwater restaurant, sailing in the man-made lake, zipping down a one-of-a-kind zipline, and, duh, rock climbing. National Grand Theater if you walk around Beijing, you might find yourself looking at something that seems absolutely impossible. A gigantic metal bubble, sitting on a lake, no openings, no entrance. You'd be looking at the National Grand Theater, designed by French architect Paul Andrew. Although it was designed to look foreboding and mysterious, some of the best opera in the world is performed here you actually enter the space through an underwater tunnel from the outside. Andrew wanted the transition to feel like entering a different world. Within the building, you'll find walls of glass and intersecting wooden panels with some of the most detailed and carefully planned lighting systems on the planet. The visiting area and lobby is completely evenly lit, 
and the performance area is a mystery within a mystery. Covered with semi-transparent walls that are only opaque in darkness, this building isn't just fascinating to the eye, but also to the mind. Church of Halgrimur If you were to travel to the town square of Reykjavik, among the skyline you'd see a beautiful, white, chiseled tower. That's the Church of Halgrimur. And it's actually visible from anywhere in the city as the most distinct feature in the skyline. The building has an observation area so you can look right back down on the town. Because the tower is 75 meters tall, or 244 feet, it's not just the entire town visible from the church steeple, but also the beautiful surrounding mountains and environment. The church's design is timeless because it incorporates various natural features of the Icelandic landscape. The corners are adorned with rows of pillars which pay tribute to the natural basalt columns on the coast. The steep curves mimic Icelandic mountains and the steeple resembles an icy mountain crystal formation. Inside the church you'll find a gigantic pipe organ which weighs 50,000 pounds. That's 22,000 kilograms, or roughly the weight of four elephants, making it one of the biggest instruments in the world. Although we now consider the church's look to be classic, when construction started after World War II, they thought it was too old-fashioned, even by 1945 standards. Thankfully, they okayed the design because it now stands as a truly one-of-a-kind building. Chinese Horizontal Skyscraper our list ends in China with a building so crazy, so insane, it's almost beyond belief. It makes everything else on the list look tame. It's more disorienting than the box houses, more striking than the Grand Theater, and even more structurally impressive than the Jetta Tower. It's a skyscraper in China the size of the Eiffel Tower. What's so striking about that? The fact that it's built 250 meters, 820 feet, above the ground and it's sideways. Building a tower so far off the ground isn't easy. It's supported in the air by laying horizontally across four smaller support buildings. The horizontal tower is called the Crystal and is connected by walkways to the 5th and 6th adjoining towers. The unusual crisscross design and bowing of the support structures is inspired by the sails in Chinese trading ships. While the six surrounding buildings will host residential and business space, the crystal itself will be home to observation platforms, two swimming pools, restaurants, and an indoor park. Do you know of an even more insane building that didn't make the list? Leave it in the comments. We might add it in an upcoming video and subscribe for even more interesting and crazy facts.